Uh, I greet you all Ugandans and Uganda and the diaspora. My name Bright Tishnius Chukmazinga. Today I want to give caution, warning and advice to the young people, men and women, young girls and young boys in the so-called youth league of the movement. The time has come for the Yorubas to burst into fire. The yellow that you put on, yellow shirt, t shirt gummies, you are covering yourself with fire. There was time, and there's still a little time, that you choose a rightful destination. It's either you join the forces of change now so that you avoid to share and partake the repercussions of the strife and the anger of the people of Uganda that they have against your M7 and his venerable. That one is your choice. But I'm just giving you an advice that the little time that you have to avoid you sharing the future repercussions of a bad leadership called NRM, it's to join the forces of change publicly and you declare that you've left, you've joined the forces of change. There is FLD and so you're gonna purchase, there is people power, there is FDC. That little time that is meaning. That's the only chance you have. Otherwise, you can wait and collapse with the dictator your M7 together. And you will see what will happen in the future. If you don't want to have it, you want evidence. Ask the people who oppressed Ugandans during the time of Aprometo Nobody. The people of UPC shared it. And Uganda People's Congress, I promise you, but they did not even do atrocities to even a tenth of what your M7 and NRM have done to the people of Uganda. You think they're keeping quiet? They kept quiet during Abote's regime. By the time when he left, they showed the people of Uganda People's Congress what they had prepared as a reward for them. People lost houses, plantations, everything, and others lost life. I've always been open to you. Now I'm saying, if you still feel like you can't collapse with this expert creature, your M7 and his old dogs, like the Tunet Vejinja, Chaligonza, Elatumin, those are very old things. They don't have any choice apart from dying with him. But if you still have that hope that you can live after your M7, it's the high time you choose a rightful destination. I don't force you. You can remain there. But for the youth, I want to tell you that the NRM did not come with anything called youth. Youth started by SLF. DP, which was not in power, had the UYD, but NRM did not have it. Wangalutai and other people from Mokono, uh, Senyung and others, they started this Uganda Yanga movement. They were just uh, moving up and down to uh, NRM Secretary on uh, Parliament Avenue, but they were not considered. And even when it came after 10 years that NRM wanted to have a youth wing, elections of uh, 2005, they didn't even choose Mwangal Taya to come. They, they went and picked uh, Nosla to Peru somewhere. They, a, a person was not even heard before in the youth politics. They have their own people. Look at what, was been, uh, what has been ha happening in Mokono. After Kalule Kagodo died, chairman of the movement, Francis Lukoya took over. But went and brought a girl, Busabala, a, a small uh, girlfriend from Busabala. To be the chairperson of the younger movement, I mean the youth league of youth movement in Mokono, when uh, uh, Moses Bagetta and those boys of uh, Boyukwe and Andrew Senyonga was holding the young movements, what do you want from this thing? 
These are selfish people, but you're going to have to share on the repercussions, on the strife, on the anger, on the anguish that people have against your own servant and his scenario. It's the high time. I don't force you. Join the forces of change publicly. Denounce the movement. But if we find you there at the last hour, we are pushing, using our resources, we push you, you hold him. Because it's the driver who is driving the, the bus. You only have that one driver. The bus is dysfunction. The aero bus is dysfunction. Nothing. But you're pushing it. Praising the driver to remain on the seat. Till you have also what you steal from there. Because it's just a, a corrupt thing. I tell you. If you don't hold off your hands from this bus, you're busting fire with it. Because the, its time is now to collapse. That's my word. Try to choose your destiny now. You collapse with your M7 and his NRM and you partake the repercussions, the reward that we have for those people have robbed killed, kidnapped, terrorized, oppressed, persecuted Ugandans. It's in abundance. They will test it, and you will test it with them. That's my advice. You either choose to join the forces of change if you have hope that you will live beyond the time of your M7, or you choose to collapse with him and face the consequences of what your M7 has done to the people of Uganda. That's my word. My name, British News, Chukumazinda. I want to advise you young people, young men and women in the NRM, quit. Quit. And whoever has hope that uh, this expert creature cannot take your life because some of you will die. Some of you will lose all what you have done. Some of you will lose all the properties. Some of you will lose life and lives. We are not going to use our resources, our energy, our efforts, our minds, our brains. We force NRM and URM 7 our power. Then you come and share the freedom just like that. I warn you, whoever feels that you will leave power beyond your M7, it's the high time, and you have just a little moment of time to join the forces of change, and we push your M7 out of power. If you don't want that, you can continue with him, but the repercussions and the consequences are very dire. Thanks very much.